Campbell, <laughs> welcome to your Wednesdays this morning. You okay, babe? What? I just saw a picture of a gnome straight away. I was like, <laughs> it's like let's explain. Are we are, don't we do, are talking about don't gnomes. Don't give the game today. away. Now we just look like a bunch of weirdos. Oh, uh, I love <laughs> <laughs> oh, Things have surged in popularity over lockdown. We've had meal delivery kits, of course, although in our house, the pizza, the homemade pizza was as close to a disaster as you can get. Really? Chewy. <laughs> the Chewy. Way, yeah, the way to describe really? it. At home workouts. And as it turns out, <laughs> garden gnomes. Would you believe it? Now, according to new research, sales of garden gnomes have soared by 20% during the pandemic. And there's currently in the world, hiding in British gardens, there's six million. Six million gnomes. of the little fellas. Unbelievable. You can't. Like, that camera shot there is a beautiful shot, by the way. My compliments. But it is... Um, it, <laughs> but it doesn't really convey how massive that gnome is. Exactly. Look it's at the one huge. next to Alison does. And do you know what? The maintenance of looking after these gnomes is unbelievable. It's epic. So you get to paint them. You you take up to a month. Have you a gnome? I've not got a gnome. <laughs> <laughs> but I've heard, apparently. Well, we decided to get to the bottom of why they are so popular with gnome superfan... Dave Nomi Robertson Robertson. Morning, Dave. How are you? Hi, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Oh, really well, mate. Nice Look at to all talk your you. gnomes, Dave. That's amazing. How many gnomes have you actually got all together? Right, well, we did a little head count yesterday. Yeah. So I've got the great big ones, and I've got 119 of them. Really? And then I've got smaller Whoa. ones. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they're and I've got little ones everywhere. And I've got Look about at them. 120. Dave you, Dave, you can't move in that garden for those gnomes. That's, and they're sort of, I love how they're all around the perimeter in a kind of guard of honour style way. Dave, where did this, how did this obsession begin? Have you had it since you were a kid or did you get into it recently? Tell us about it. It started about five years ago when the Queen had a jubilee. My dad went into Asda and he noticed they had like a giant gnome queen and he came home and told me. And I saw it and I thought, oh, that's cute. But our garden was so overgrown and I thought, oh, it'll look terrible in there. And after a couple of days, I thought, do you know, just one gnome would look nice, maybe two or three. <laughs> and I went off to get her, but she sold out so i ended up driving halfway around cornwall <laughs> and i ended up finding her and a knight and also a mother gnome and some children and then they got a dog and a cat and granny and granddad and it just sort of built from there yeah. look at you with your gnomes you're just loving life aren't you now i was talking earlier about the maintenance of these gnomes what what does it involve what does it entail and how long does like a big gnome like this take to paint Oh, it's a nightmare. So I used to spray them all with this lacquer and it would protect them. But because Cornwall's quite sunny at times, it makes them fade. So I started repainting and it can take me about five hours because it takes about oh, two coats goodness. and then you've got to spray them as well. When did and this... I've got too many, so it's like... When did... Yeah, but you can't get rid of them now, can you? Because you love them. That part of the family, oh, I can't, right? no. They're exactly. thinking we have to move house. <laughs> so when did this kind of love of gnomes become ob an ob like you know when did you get when did you, you about properly to say get obsession? Obsession, yeah. Obsession. No, let, love. let's call it what it is. Let's call it obsession, but in a good way. Let, this is what you love, oh, and good yeah. for you, man. But when did when did you just, when you were like you'd wake up in the middle of the night chasing a dragon? Thought, I've got to get some more. I need some more in my life. When did that? When did that kind of the tipping point happen? Oh probably about three months after getting my first one. Wow. OK. Did you just want to give it, a, like, like, a it's... friend or, like, the family you wanted to, like, add to the family? It is. It started off, it's like mum and dad and the grandparents, the children, <laughs> there they got uncles, aunties, cousins... And if you don't mind me asking, like what does your partner here? think of it? Um not very keen on them especially when i found a really rare one online and i'm like oh can we go london to get this gnome i found on ebay or the furthest i've been was doncaster wow and i ended up filling my car with about 20 of them and it's a little citr uh, it's a citron no a 
So, yeah, Citroen 106. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Peugeot 106. David, is Sorry, it a, this isn't a relationship buster, I know, is it? No, I mean, you, is, you're kind of love me, love my gnomes, right? <laughs> I think it is now. I mean, it's an acquired taste. So if you can put up with my gnomes and me, well, you're on to a winner. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, mate, Look lovely talking say, to you. You're not alone, though. You're not alone. But thank you for He's talking to us. He's not alone. He's not alone. <laughs> <laughs> you're not alone because loads of our viewers have been getting in touch as well. Uh, Emma says, these are my indoor gnomes. I have lots more, but many are broken. So they've been demoted to the garden. So she had... She actually has indoor gnomes. She did. Cool she demotes them to the garden. They wouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so my kids love gnomes. We buy new ones every year and name every one of them. I wonder if they can actually remember Rianne. their names. I thought I bought my first gnome yesterday. I thought it was quite cute. We're going to have to buy another two. I think oh. you need to get in touch with Dave. You start at the start of a gnome obsession. I get it though, because I can remember going into a shop once and they had like a Father Christmas gnome. Mm -hmm. And I actually thought about getting it and I was well, thinking. I get kind of one or two, shall kind I, of shall hiding I get it in the name? undergrowth. Is yeah, quite they cute. are obsessed. I think it's the Dave colours. must walk out in his garden and just go, oh, like, like Nobby's looking at me. <laughs> 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 do you know what I mean? But the thing is, um, don't you think they, when you look at a gnome, it just makes you happy? What do yeah, you they're kind of cute, aren't they? Poor Laura. If you're looking at it as if you, have you got any gnomes at home? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Do you like them? Either. What? Does it make you feel happy when you're not? Look not at really, I, think, I think they're a bit scary. Really? Oh, Phil, no. Look at that ruddy nose. You must know a lot of little. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that lovely little ruddy nose on him. <laughs> uh, Laura, my dogs are terrified of our gnome. Imagine down in Dave's house, Laura's. Poor dog would be having PTSD, wouldn't she? Oh. oh. Look at that. Well, what nice. is, that? is that a gnome? It looks like a plant pot. It's kind of a kind of Inca <laughs> style. <laughs> What a bizarre gnome. <laughs> and Leanne's got though. a picture as well. You do your thing. Leanne's one. Let's well, thanks, Dave. Nice for you to join us. Kicking off the show with a lovely bit of gnomes. Has he gone? There we go. Has he gone? Thanks, just... Dave. Thank you, Dave. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. If you're ever in Cornwall, come for a visit. We'll look yeah, you up. Have, have a cup of tea with the gnomes. Oh, yeah. Whereabouts in Cornwall are you, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> in Hale. Hale. Right by the beach. Dave, hail, gnomes. Bank it. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Thanks Have a lovely day, up. mate. Thanks for joining us. Oh, that was interesting. I like that. Enjoy that. A bit nice. of gnome life.